Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. It is Tuesday. Talk about it Tuesday. This is a day where we talk about whatever we're discussing, but we encourage you to go and talk about it elsewhere. You can talk with a coworker, maybe over your lunch break, talk to your spouse, talk to your, your children, um, call up a neighbor or a friend, but think about an opportunity today where you can share what God is doing in your life things that he's whirling around in your mind and your heart, and create conversations with others about the things of God. Wouldn't it be beautiful if God gave you the opportunity today to share your faith with someone through just a simple question or conversation? That would be awesome. Now, we are on chapter 22 of Proverbs, reading a chapter a day. I want to encourage you to read through this chapter, highlighting a couple verses. But before I get into the verses, I want to tell you a little story. When I was fresh out of college and I had my first adult job, I worked at a a place where my boss swore a lot. And to be honest with you, I I feel blessed by this. Um, Maybe some of you would think that I was sheltered, but I grew up in a Christian home where we didn't swear in my family. My parents, I don't, I've never heard my parents swear, to be honest with you, to the extent where I remember as a small child, probably five, six, seven years old, um, my parents sat my older brother and I down on the stairs going up to our bedrooms and they said, we need to have a family meeting. And I remember thinking, oh, And my mom said, your father and I have talked and we are no longer going to say the words shut up in this family. You know, I I vaguely remember that prior to that, that was um, acceptable in our home. Like maybe we'd say it sometimes when we got angry or I don't know. But apparently at that point, they had had a conversation privately and they'd made the decision that no longer will it be allowed to say shut up in our home. And my mom gave us a reason, which I value. I I love um, to know what is expected of me, but it's powerful when you can get people to internalize the why because then they'll be able to repeat it, right? For the right reason. But anyway, that's a side lesson. My mom said, here's why. Because there's no nice way to say shut up. Interesting. Adult, as an adult reflecting on that, that's so true, right? You can't really be like, would you please shut up? <laughs> there's just a, a feeling you get with the word shut up, right? But anyway, that was the standard in my home. Fast forward now and I'm at this job, this workplace where I have a boss who, who swears, you know, maybe you can relate. Or maybe you're in a workroom where the guys all, you know, joke about crude things or you have people that say dirty jokes, whatever it is. Isn't it amazing that when you're in an environment with others regularly, how you can begin to imitate, repeat, reflect what they do and say? You know, I remember growing up not swearing at all. And I remember being in this environment where I was around someone who swore all the time. And I remember suddenly in my mind, naturally, When someone would begin to say something, it's like my mind would go to the swear word that normally paired with that. And I'd, oh my, I don't know why I'm thinking that way. Or when someone would begin to say a a joke about something, my mind would immediately go to something dirty or, or wrong or taking it a bad way. Isn't it incredible how impressionable we are? You know, Proverbs chapter 22 talks about this. Listen to what it says, starting in verse 24. It says, do not make friends with a hot tempered man. Do not associate with one who's easily angered, or you may learn his ways and get yourself ensnared. You know, this proverb is cautioning us. Hey, the people that you hang around, you're going to pick up on their behaviors. You're going to pick up on their tendencies, their language. And I want to challenge you beyond physical people. It can also be the things that you're consuming with your eyes and your ears through media, through television, through talk, radio, whatever you're listening to, do you find yourself imitating those attitudes? Do you find yourself getting angry about those same things? Do you find yourself saying those same things? We need to be so cautious as believers that we're allowing the word of God to be the loudest voice in our lives, that we're surrounding ourselves with with others who are going to rub off on us good things. You know, if you hang around someone who's positive, who's encouraging, who's quick to forgive, who's, who's constantly looking at the bright side. It's amazing how you naturally will begin to do the same, but vice versa, if you hang around someone who's negative, who's a nitpicker, who's quick to criticize, how quickly you yourself will imitate that. Talk about this with someone today. What type of person are you? If I came over to your home or your workplace and spent a week with you, what would I begin to say and do? Are the people in your sphere of influence learning good things from you or poor things from you and vice versa. Who are you allowing into your sphere of influence? Hey, thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope you'll tune in again tomorrow for another daily dose for spiritual growth.